Hey guys, it's Carrie here, and I'm right here with a stationery haul artist edition. Stationery Pal kindly sent me out these two boxes. Yes, there will be another one later on in the video with timestamp. They kindly sent me these for free, and it came with some of these free goodies. I handpicked a lot of these items myself, but it did came with like the ducky, the little bear for free. Um, I got this thing to like rip off the washi tape, and there'll be a giveaway, so I'll give more details about that later on the video but the information will be in the description as well so that way you can win yourself your own stationary set um i got myself a couple washi tape and i am in love with this website there were so many really cute items and also some really good quality uh art supplies as well but i'm going through a bunch of the stationery on first like this one is like a little uh calendar sticky note it's really 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 cute i love the whole color schemes of it and right now they're having a winter sale so everything on the website is super dirt cheap they're not paying me to say any of this uh they just only sent me out the product for free this video is not sponsored um it's just like i found a lot of really cute things on their website uh, in total all the items in the haul and this haul cost about a hundred and twenty dollars in total but i got so many things you guys will see like i got this little clear thing to hold my washi taste and it's like so cute and i'm gonna use it to organize my sketches and i also got these little table organizers too that also came in different colors i never saw these cable organizer come in pinks or green you guys will see later on in the video and i love how this whole thing was packaged i got myself another pencil case this one was super cute it's one of the ones that you pull down and it has a cat uh, it's oh man i i really really like it uh in the whole way that it's packaged feels like a gift uh, like this little pen was actually a freebie because it's winter theme. I love how they theme a lot of their boxes and Actually was watching a lot of stationary pal hauls on YouTube I got inspired by it and I was really happy when they reached out to me I got this tweezer since I know it's really good for peeling stickers So I'm also glad that it comes in really really cute colors, too so I know so far it's just been stationary items. Even this notebook, I thought this notebook would be good for art, but the paper inside is really, really thin. So I think it's probably mostly good for sketches, but in all, it's super, super, super pretty. The cover is like hardcover and I like the size, but sadly I won't be able to handle watercolor. These little things are actually freebies that I thought were super nice. They're so cute. So it came in multiple different colors and oh man i love how stationary pal the whole packaging is like and inside of this box i got this little thing to hold ink um and i thought it was really nice a nice touch you guys will see later on in the video how i use a lot of these supplies as well i have a whole drawing portion and vlog format that's super nice so yeah i wanted to do a voiceover for this part instead of purely asmr and i got this little palette too for watercolor but yeah i i wanted to show you guys why i picked some of these things and which ones are freebies or not because it's kind of hard to, to kind of tell um sometimes so and a lot of stuff on their website was super affordable and i got myself some artist grade brushes these are so nice i love the colors of them because i'll let you guys hear the asmr sounds Look at these babies! Oh, I love them so much. I've just been using cheap watercolor brushes my whole life, but the way these hold, oh man. And some more freebies. Oh, they're so cute. I like how they came in so many different colors. I ended up putting them on my bag. And I also got myself some watercolor markers, brush pens. Uh, these were also pretty fun to use. And um, I like how they come in different colors, but it also still has a regular pocket brush as well. And oh, look how it writes, guys. I got myself another watercolor palette. 
Um, this one's Faber-Castell. I never own Faber-Castell watercolor brand, so that's gonna be the main focus of this video. I mostly use Paul Rubens watercolors. It came with the swatch card, and I should have swatched the colors first, but look at this, guys. So pretty. I wanted this bigger set, but sadly it was out of stock. And it comes with a slot of sponge, as well as another watercolor brush. And this little thing right here is actually a bookmark. It's so cute. I got two of them. I got this little dog one. And uh, it's so cute. It's a way for you to not lose your page. So here's my rusty sketchbook. And I just put in one of the pages. And it kind of really replaced the, the existing thing I already had on there. And it's so cute. I love it. And I got the storage crates. I saw a lot of people have them. And they were super cute. I got three of them. And they're stackable. And I use them to keep a lot of the art supplies in this video. They're so nice. And they, they're not too big. These are the much smaller ones, but uh, they, they fit really well for a small workspace. Um, I mostly got them in the yellow, the blue, pink. I didn't get any green, just so that way I didn't go over budget in this video. So here's the other two. I'll let you guys hear the ASMR sound. See how they stack? Ah, I love these things and they're so nice. Especially to organize the small art supplies. I got myself this rubber stamp and uh, I found it really, really cute. I just didn't completely know how to use it. I think I need to use ink on it so I could stamp my drawings, but I thought this this was nice touch, that's why I decided to get it. And the rest of the box shows you all the different designs that you can do. And now here's a little visual overview of everything that came in the first box. Again, I got two of these boxes um, sent to me. I buy stationary pal, so the other haul is going to start soon, but I wanted to show you guys a visual overview. And let's remove the the washi tape, ugly washi tape I had on my sketchbook. I'm adding in the new one that I got from this haul and using the washi tape, the thing, I don't know what it's called. And I'm using some of the watercolor brush too, so it make it really cute. So just little touches like that, that makes it feel really, really nice. So, and it brings my sketchbook to life a lot of it. So yeah, you guys can see. And now into the second box. So you guys can see that two boxes on the second box has some of the major items that I was waiting for. And it still comes with the same free goodies like the little bunny clips, the bear, and uh, this bag I've been waiting for. It's so cute. It's this canvas tote bag that has all this space. It became my new art bag, my new purse feels really nice. I got it in the pink color. I really wanted to get it in white, but... Oh, these are some of the other products. I got I got a gel pen. That's what I went so fast with. And I got a, some sticky note. I like this pencil case a lot as well, too. I, I use both of the pencil cases since I, I did get a lot of products for this video. And I got this little keychain, the reversible octopus. It's so cute. Ah, you guys will see I put all of this in my bag. Correction on my bag. Look how cute this was. Ah, oh, some more bunnies. The ducky was also another freebie. I got the sticky note and I got this little uh, pouch thing. It's really nice for putting female uh, products like pads. So, oh, it's really, really cute. I didn't realize it was gonna be that big. And I got this cat paw oh, eraser. Wait, not eraser, sharpener. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm going super fast. I'm trying to get through everything. I'll do another overview, but I got so many cute stuff. I love this pencil, this cheese pencil. It came in pastel blue, pastel blue. Look how it writes. And I put it inside this main pencil case. And here's another big 
another baby that I got. I was really excited for it. Look at this dip pen. It's so pretty. Ah, uh, and it works perfectly with this little thing. Again, I'm really bad at naming everything, but I'm gonna list everything down below. So, ah, uh, I love this thing, man. It's so pretty. And I just put it inside that pencil case. I got these little folding chair for my phone. It holds my other phone really well, but my main phone, my folding phone, the Samsung Fold 3, wouldn't hold it. I got it in purple and that, oh yeah, there's the cat paw here. Cat paw sharpener. That thing is super nice. And electric eraser. This thing needs quadruple A batteries. I had to get those at Dollar Tree. I got another one of those things. You guys can see all the colors. I got these clips. I don't know why I got them, but they were really cute. <sighs> Oh yeah, there's the other one I was talking about, the other... Ah, uh, I got it in Sakura. And I got some nice watercolor paper that I've never used before. Um, and this is some little sticky notes. I got some more washi tape because, you know, you can't go wrong with washi tape. <laughs> Even though I didn't use a lot of them for the drawing, but... Oh, that's all fine. This is me decorating the tote bag. Look how cute it is, guys. And now it's time to draw, guys. I'm putting in my references. I put all the art supplies on this little art cart. And we're bringing out the supplies, man. I'm using the same paper, the watercolor supplies. I got a lot of watercolor stuff. And they're pretty nice quality. So, oh, I'm excited to show you guys. I was a little bit rusty using them. So please uh, don't judge. Well, I guess you can judge, you know. Let's start with the sketch. I'm drawing off from Avatar, um, I was just going to Pinterest and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna draw Toph. So I decided to draw her, even though she's not my favorite character in Avatar. So with this video, I tried doing something different. Normally I speed up all of my drawing videos, but I took time to edit this to show as much in real time as possible. And uh, I spray the watercolors. I should have swatched them first, but I was so excited to just jump in. I just swatched a little bit and I just started in. I shouldn't have done that because <laughs> I had to overpaint a lot and that's a little bit tricky to do with watercolor but since this was some good watercolor paper it didn't matter since it could hold all that water um so this painting took me a long time a lot of building up I don't know why I started off with purple for the base color for Toph's hair even though her hair is jet black I had to go over it with black anyways and I really should have swatched the color guys because the skin color looked so bad for a while i had to keep layering and blending but the great thing about these like artist grade watercolors is that they're really great for everything even the big brush still has like a fine tip where i can do fine lines i wasn't a big fan with the watercolor brushes as much because i thought i could just reactivate them with water they just felt nice to use but they were harder to blend with uh, but the artist gray watercolors and the Faber Castells felt super nice, man. I think I'm not super efficient with watercolors, so I don't know how it compares to other ones. But I'm gonna try to ink right now using the fancy dip brush, and that was also another learning curve. But it felt really nice to experiment with. The ink I'm using was some old Hagen inks that I had before. It's super jet black. Oh, it felt nice to add some details to it. Uh, but yeah, I still feel like I'm rusty, but oh, um, I, I, was, I was trying. I was trying to use a little bit of everything outside of my comfort zone. I don't know if doing the outlines with the watercolor brush markers was a good idea, but I had to do a lot of layering since I messed up a lot. And um, the artist grade brushes helped a lot with that guys i'm using the big brush and even then i guess you can see i can use the tip to do small details the bristles felt really really nice at first it was a little bit harder for me to get used to since i mostly used the pocket watercolor brushes that has the water inside um but um real quick note the electric eraser works it was really nice to get some reflective lighting in and to erase some of my pencil markings I really did enjoy it. Uh, I had a lot of fun with this, even though 
Halfway through, I did feel a little bit frustrated since I couldn't get the colors the way I want to, not due to the art supplies, but to my own skills. I need a lot more practice, but I went back and forth using the pocket watercolor brush that the Faber-Castell palette came in with. That's the one, as you guys can see, that's clear, and um, I mixed in with the artist grade. And uh, it was it was definitely a challenge at some point. I was having fun with it. I'm like, this is not coming out the way I want to. So uh, definitely took my time. This took several days, as you guys can see with my nails, like my gel nail polish came off already. So that's why this video took so long to do. And the white gel pen I used worked. It worked on the hair, but I was having a hard time getting it to show on the skin. I'm not sure if I did too much build up, so bye guys. <laughs>